Fire alarm bells became popular in the 1800s as part of telegraph fire alarm systems, and now you see them all over today, usually on the exterior portion of buildings. In order to make that ring sound that we're all familiar with, these bells are usually manufactured with roughly three-fourths copper and one-fourth tin. As a general rule of thumb, the bigger the fire alarm bell, the louder it is, although that's not the only factor. This right here is a 10 inch bell, and as you can see on the label, it is 96 decibels at 10 feet away. It's a Gentex GB10-24 fire alarm bell. And we're gonna be testing it for today's system test on my ADT Unimode 10UD demonstration fire alarm board. Let's get started. For strobe today, we have a Gentex GXS-4-110WR. It's 110 candela fixed, it's set on steady, and it is set on non-silenceable. Going over, we have the Tectone quarter light and the sounder beacon. For the sounder beacon, I did change the dip switch settings in the back onto a random tone, so we'll hear what that is. And yes, I did fix the mounting issue on it for those that noticed and commented in previous videos. And then the belt today is set on California code. So it'll go off on steady for a little bit, it'll stop for a little bit, and then it'll turn back on for a little bit, and so on and so forth. A random chicken just walked into the garage once again. <laughs> All right, going on down, we have a new smoke detector on the system. We haven't seen this one on the channel in a while. It is my Edwards EC10U-3. It's an ionization smoke detector. And yes, we'll go ahead and test that out today with some smoke. And then going down, we have also not seen this device on the channel in a little bit. It is a Firelight BG6. So I think we're gonna kick the test off today by actually, for a change, starting with the medical portion of the system. So we'll activate the medical emergency pull cord switch. There's no cord attached, but there could be. But it's as simple as pulling down. Here we go. Pretty simple. And then we'll reset that so that way it does not reactivate. All right, let's test out some fire alarm stuff. You gotta love the old Firelight BG6, but I think today we'll start off the fire alarm portion of the test by activating the smoke detector with some canned smoke. Here we go. I have some smoke centurion. And yes, this model is a little bit older, so we'll see if we can actually get it to go. There we go. Let's pull the Firelight BG6 and then we'll walk outside. Here we go. Pull down.
I think we're going to have to set that bell onto March time and reactivate the system. It just doesn't seem right to do a test with the fire alarm bell and not do March time. So we'll do that as soon as I reset this pull station with one hand and without a tool. <laughs> Which actually that worked pretty well. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do a system reset and then we'll go into the panel settings and change the, the NAT code to March time. So. That always happens. I'm pretty sure it's NAC 3. Nope. NAC 2. Yes. Coding. March time. All right. Let's do. We haven't done the fire drill button on the enunciator in a while. Let's do that. Should we do code three as well? Might as well. All right, it's set to code three. Here we go. That bell certainly does have a nice ring to it. All right, I think that's gonna be enough testing for today's system test. Thank you for watching. Definitely go check out some more videos if you found any of this interesting. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And please have a great day.